Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, previously on this channel, we've talked about manually implementing the tone mapping or the HDR effect, which we did by just using, you know, filtering and uh, by using layer blending options, right? We were able to achieve the HDR effect, bringing out the dark parts of the image and just balancing the uh, contrast within an image. So yeah, what's interesting about that particular technique is that we did everything with our bare hands. Today, let's try something like that again for a different effect. Let's step it up to something a little bit more complex, the unsharp mask effect. Now, most image editing software already have unsharp masks, you know, right there for you to use, right? So this is just more out of interest than anything else. But yeah, the purpose of this filter is of course to sharpen your image. Let's see how we can do it manually. First of all, grab your image. This particular image has not been sharpened even though I have done a bit of tone mapping to make it look a little bit brighter. What you first want to do is to duplicate it twice. So you should end up with three layers. So the unsharp mask is right off the bat already a little bit more complex. Go to your topmost layer and set its layer blending mode to subtract. Now, a subtraction means taking the pixels of one image and just taking away the colors of the next, well, layer, right? And that is why you're seeing black. Because these two images are exactly the same, right? You end up with zero or black. Anyway, grab the topmost layer, that's the layer that you have set the subtract blending mode to, and go ahead and blur out that layer. Now, watch what happens. This subtraction no longer yields zero, right? Because now the pixels across the two images are just that slightly different. And the differences happen to be well, most prominent, where there are strongly contrasting edges. A single patch of colour when blurred is going to look exactly the same, but the boundaries are not. So in effect, what we've done is we've done a very simple edge detection operation. Where there are edges within the image, the colour looks stronger. Where there are flat washes of colour, well, you don't see a very clear line. Anyway, blur the layer as much or as little as you like. This is going to affect the radius of our sharpening operation later on. Once you're happy with that, click OK, and then merge the top two layers. So you're essentially fusing right, um, that little edge map into one layer. Grab this layer and set the layer blending mode to addition. What's going to happen is that whatever you see on that layer is going to get added to the bottom layer. And that's it. That's a sharpening effect. Basically what's happening here is that, well, the edges are now being emphasized. And as it turns out, that's what sharpening is. A blurry image essentially has, well, borders and edges that are not so distinct, right? So it doesn't feel very sharp. If we can adjust these edges until they become, well, more prominent, in other words, the contrast is there, then it appears sharper. And that's essentially what we're doing here. That is the unsharp mask in a nutshell. You can repeat this process multiple times if you'd like the effect to be more intense. But yeah, you've essentially sharpened your image by just using blending and blurring. So that's interesting. And hopefully that gives you some insights into how the unsharp mask operator actually works. Anyway, that's it. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. Hope that was interesting to you. Until next time, you're watching 0612 TV with nerdfirst.net. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one-time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.